is the number. Good morning, caller. Who's this? This is Randy. Good morning, Randy. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you and all of you. Um, I called last week on December 17th about the uh, Employment Non-Discrimination Act, which is an anti-discrimination measure, a bill, not yet law, protecting homosexuals in the private workplace. And by the way, there are many subjects uh, concerning anti-discrimination laws, and that's the one I had brought up. And you, Steve, brought up a different subject uh, concerning anti-discrimination, which is fine. But anyway, uh, that's the one I had brought up. But anyway, uh, there's another one, another subject in anti-discrimination law called the Federal Age Discrimination in Employment Act, which protects people over 40 from being discriminated against in the private workplace. And I brought this subject up before on this program. Um, but that particular law is a law. It's not just a bill like the, uh, the homosexual one has been a bill since about 1994 and still has not become law yet. But anyway, on that Federal Age uh, Discrimination in Employment Act, which I do oppose, I was wondering... Steve, this is a question for you. If someone opposes that act, the Age Discrimination and Employment Act, does it mean that they are in favor of discriminating against old people, maybe? That's a good question, because I don't think you necessarily are, are in favor of discrimination. However, if you are opposing the implementation of it, you are, in a sense, agreeing with discrimination. You are saying that you have a right to discriminate. And, you know, that, this is this is an interesting part, Randy, because, uh, you know, you and I have kind of gone round and round because uh, on a lot of the points that you make when it comes to, for instance, the issue of non-discrimination, uh, you have taken a position that is actually very close to what I believe in terms of, a, of private individuals being able to decide for themselves who they're going to hire, who they're going to keep employed, and the, or and who they're going to serve, and that it's the marketplace that's going to determine whether or not they're successful. So if, that it's something that Josh said too last week that if somebody puts out a sign in front of their business that says no blacks allowed, how long is that business going to stay in business? It will eventually fail. It's just a matter of you now because the government has stepped in and said thou shalt not discriminate by putting up a sign that says no blacks allowed. You are identifying yourself as a racist here as well as whether you're going to discriminate against those who are old or whatever else. It, I'm, I'm not going to give you permission to do so, Randy. I'm not going to let you rope me into that. But I will say this, that if you are truly uh, employing a person based on their ability to do their job, then you're going to have documentation when you fire them that will show that they are not doing their job and that you're not firing them because they're old. Does that make sense to, to you? Yeah, that makes good sense. And on the uh, Federal Age Discrimination and Employment Act, which I said I'm against, it protects me because I'm 56 years old, way above 40 years old. And so I am against discriminating against old people. I'm against employers discriminating against me. And I, by the way, right at this moment, am unemployed and, and would like to have a job, by the way, but I'll get one pretty soon. But uh, anyway, so the reason I am against the Federal Age Discrimination and Employment Act is not because I'm in favor of discriminating against anyone, and I'm against discriminating against anyone on, on any basis. But the reason is is because I value freedom so highly. I think freedom is so important. Liberty is so vital to the, to the success of this multi-group uh, that we have in this country here that it should be preserved at all costs, in my, in my uh, opinion. And along with the fact that I'm opposed to any kind of discrimination, I have no problem with a government agency who monitors discrimination, who is supported by tax money, which is extracted from people at gunpoint, and to use that tax money to, to support an agency that monitors levels of discrimination, mon uh, takes complaints, and sends... Uh, admonishing letters to people that do discriminate and pr prints on a website uh, companies, for instance, that practice discrimination and to what level they do to give them a black eye. But I'm against crossing the line of actually forcing them to do to, to, to hire certain people or to not, not fire certain people or whatever because that crosses the line. In other words, I'm in favor of the government being able to do what any private citizen can do. Like, you and I could make a little club. Uh, hang, can I, Sorry, hang, hang on. Yeah, well, I knew you, there was a hang on. coming. No, no, yeah, no, we just had to give you enough rope. Um, uh -huh. Now we get to tug on it. Sure. Uh, <laughs> so you're against the government forcing a business 
not to discriminate. Yes. But you're okay with the government pointing a gun at that business's employees to fund its little defamation project. A necessary evil. Actually, it's not. <laughs> that's, and what's uh, that's beautiful. I'm going to – just really quick, I'll let you back oh, no, in. I have at it. The, uh, do you realize the government actually is discriminating when it's going out with their gun collecting those taxes because they don't collect them from everyone. They discriminate who they take them from. Well, they're, 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 they're right? taking them from everyone who produces wealth. You know, so they take no, yeah, so, so they're discriminating. <laughs> discriminating. So if you don't, if wealthy. you don't do anything, um, if you don't, if you don't contribute to society in any productive way, which is what wealth production is, uh -huh. then they leave you alone. They only, <clears throat> they only point a gun at you if you're actually contributing something. Doesn't that seem like a reverse incentive structure? Well, no, because you can still keep ninety percent of what you produce, and that's enough incentive. Well, I don't know what tax structure you're belonging to. Because it ain't sure the heck ain't no 90% that you get to keep. Well, depending what what income bracket you're in. I and guess. it hardly even matters that. You still get a lot taken from you. I mean, if yeah, you've you're got right. an employer, your employer matches and pays more than what you actually pay. I mean, yeah, I agree with you on that. Well, how can you agree with me when you just said that uh, it's okay to take a gun and take money from people and give these... Randy, you, you were right on the money all the way up until you got there. The private industry, the public sector, well, out, no, not public, the private sector will take care of those people that are, quote, unquote, discriminating. How can you say that you, the, well, don't, don't you believe in the First Amendment? Don't you have freedom of speech, freedom of thought? Yeah, but what I was thinking is you and Dave there, if you see some company discriminating, if you see some restaurant or something discriminating against people because they part their hair on the wrong side or whatever, you as private citizens have a right to put up a website and accurately and, and truthfully post to let other people know that, hey, these, these people discriminate against people who part their hair on the right side. Yeah, it's free speech. Yeah, that's why free do you speech. Need, why do you need the government to do it? Well, the government has these extra resources, and they can kind of get the message out. Where do they get the resources from, Randy? Uh, pointing a gun at people's heads. Yeah, exactly. All right. All right. Well, God bless you, brother. Merry Christmas.